A bam welcome everybody to Slice and Dice. Uh, this is a sort of dungeon crawling dice based game uh, with cute pixel graphics. Man, it's just like everything I love all in one package. Uh, there's recently been a big update to this. Um, so I covered this game a while ago at some point. And I gotta say, I absolutely adore it. Um, I am a real big fan. Uh, well, I'll kind of like explain how this works as we go along, because uh, you might not have seen this before. But the sort of premise is, uh, I have a whole load of characters um, which each have a, a dice that will have a different kind of set of sides um, that do different things. So you have attacks, um, you'll have sort of like healing, there'll be ways to get mana, you can shield. All pretty simple to start off with. Uh, we get a couple of re-rolls, so we get a bit of manipulation on what we want. So for example, like, oh, these are pretty good. Maybe I'll take that shield uh, and we'll do one more re-roll because I can definitely get more mana, nice. And so each of the enemies, they are telegraphing their attacks. Uh, this rat, he's going to bite my healer, ow. The wolf, he's going to bite the mage. And this rat is also gonna bite my thief. Uh, so I've got some things that I can can do. Um, so I kind of think what we could do is maybe if we just kill, kill the wolf off. Um, I have a spell, Burst, which does two damage or gives me two shields, bonk. And since the healer's got a little more life, um, I'll use my shield on the thief. And so that will block up to three damage. Blam. So there they attack. Nice. And... Uh, I don't need all the damage in the world. Uh, if I can get one mana out of you, that'd be absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Uh, so we can stab that rat. Cast a burst on it. Um, stab that one and shoot it. Oh, we didn't even need the extra mana. So after every uh, encounter that you do, uh, we're going to build up to 20. Um, we are either going to be upgrading one of our characters, like, ooh, the Fiend, uh, or the Juggler. Um, I might take the Juggler. That seems kind of good. Uh, so I switch out this dice for this new dice, uh, which has different abilities. Um, so I'm always a fan of this style of mechanic, uh, which is a cantrip, which is just any time that I roll that side, it will just automatically use that ability on one of the viable targets. So, blam, instantly stabbed someone. Uh, so there's actually kind of like a big benefit to just trying to keep rolling this as much as physically possible. Uh, blam, we got another stab off. Do we want to do blocking? I might want to do some blocking. Um, so we'll roll that again. I'm not too eager. Okay, and the other side is I just gave a person a shield. And so someone who's taking damage takes a shield. Very cool. Uh, right, it probably doesn't hurt just to instantly stab that gobbo. And then I guess we'll pop some mana, drop some shields onto the mage just because they're taking the most hits. Uh, you can bank up to three mana, which I'm going to do uh, because we're going to save up for... Uh, like, I wasn't going to kill him this turn, and I wasn't going to waste any mana, so I may as well hold on to it. Nice, man, the cantrip can really chain some damage together. There are times when it will cause a problem, and I'm sure we will run into that, but uh, for now, I'm very into it. Uh, bonk, we stab, and um, I can just kill this person with a burst. But why do it with a burst? We could do it with a flare! <laughs> Uh, so now, um, instead of upgrading characters, we have a choice of an item. Uh, no penalty when being defeated. Honestly, not a bad thing. So after every round, our characters will heal up to full, unless they were killed in the previous round, at which point they come back on half health, which is kind of bad, because every round is going to get significantly harder. Uh, I might take that bone charm. It's not great right now, but it does mean that I can be a bit kind of... A bit more blasé with someone. So, for example, like the mage, if they were to die, it isn't isn't too bad. Uh, absolutely perfect. Who do we kill? There's not a really clean clean kill there. So I think I'm just gonna stab you up, uh, heal my juggler, and just hope that we get some mana. But the, undoubtedly, the juggler is gonna stab the wolf a bit, and we're probably gonna do a little repeat of last time of just massively overkilling someone that doesn't need to be. Um, I only need one mana. Oh no, maybe we've goofed this. Oh no, we're fine. Uh, bam! Flare the wolf, and then stab the archer. So now we can do another upgrade. Uh, so a guardian. Uh, big shields, a lot of shielding, um, and a little stabbo. 
or the Myco. Uh, okay, so the Myco is one of the new classes that's been added. Um, so they generate a bit more mana, and they have growth abilities. And there's this spell, this spore, which kind of increases the how big something is. So you kind of always want to be banking mana and then using that on them. I feel like I kind of maybe just want the Guardian. Uh, and let's keep going. So the troll. Uh, the troll is going to regenerate one life every turn. Um, and also he's just kicked every single one of my party. Kind of un uncool there. Uh, that is probably not a terrible choice. Because that is a shield. But it has a cleave effect. So it will hit the people either side. So we can actually shield three of our three of our people. Okay, nothing too complex here. Just one big boy. Uh, fight is going to be a little bit sad when he gets inevitably punched. Oof. Um, but hopefully, I can just shield him up. Uh, I guess we can take the heal now. Nice. Okay, not terrible. Okay, it's good that we got the heal because um, otherwise uh, I would have been bad as the Guardian didn't get another day thing. Uh, do a little stab. Do a few more stabs. Uh, it kind of doesn't matter about that heal because we just blast the troll. Okay, what do we want? Sapphire Skull. Upon death, gain two mana. Or replace the top and bottom sides with shooting attacks. So we could just make that fighter just do more more consistent damage. Okay, a random item. Uh, I think I think I'll take that uh, because sometimes range damage is better. Uh, because if you attack at someone, it might sometimes trigger you to take damage or like a retaliation type thing, and so you don't always want that. Which is kind of the problem that the juggler sort of gets himself into. Not super good. We're not going to get a kill here, which is bad. I might just plink the snake and uh, oh, throw down another shield. Doesn't really matter. Ow. See, now that I'm poisoned, I'm going to take one damage every turn. Um, poison, if it starts building up on people, can be absolutely devastating. Um, I don't have any way to uh, cure poison at the moment, and so that is bad times. Bad times to be a Tom. Pow! Uh, we stabbed his uh, guy, the Slimelet. He's just like a little boy. Oh, man, I love, love slimes. Uh, very cool. Okay, right. I'm going to just shoot and stab the snakes because I don't want to have to deal with a lot of poison. Uh, we'll take the mana and maybe just flare you. Pow. Uh, so as that creature goes down certain uh, sort of break points, um, it is spawning new new creatures. Um, luckily, the slimets are not the strongest. Blast. Blast them both. Okay, right. A new upgrade. Glacier. There's a big person. Do a weaken? Targets minus two to all sides. Pretty good. Or sinew. Uh, does four damage, but exit. Replace all sides with blanks until the end of the next turn. Oof. I kind of, I've not seen this guy before, so I'm kind of tempted to take old sinew. Hey, what do you guys do? Uh, plus one to all monsters. Wow, that makes them real strong. And they are both just like Guardian. We're killing you. But the barrel... Uh, deals five damage to adjacent allies on death. Instantly hilarious. Uh, yes, I want that. What is the best play here? Uh, oh, okay, right. Blammo! Uh, we hit the barrel, it explodes. Uh, the two war chiefs, uh, one of them's gonna get shanked. And then the mage has a bow. They were not expecting that. Oh, we got the alpha strike chief. Uh, lead boots. Uh, can I be re-rolled? Can I re-roll this dice? But you get plus one to all sides. Kind of kind of rad. Plus one HP. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Every time you save a hero. So putting that on like the guardian or the healer, actually kind of, kind of good. Or we can risk it and we can maybe get a higher tier weapon or like upgrade. But these lead boots, like we can throw that on the sinew guy and it just makes him just hit pretty hard. I'm going to take this uh, because I feel like I need something a bit defensive. I'm going to put it on you, because I think those shields are maybe the win. Okay, right, the bandit. Uh, fleas, if a Jason monster is overkilled by two or more, great. Um, whereas this guy, tough. Each health has to be removed individually. So the juggler, actually fantastic. Um, oh, nice. Great guardian, you can save them. Okay, well, I guess the flail isn't all that bad. Uh, pow! Uh, we gained a life because we saved them. Um, the reason it did four shields rather than just two is because this has engage, uh, which does times two on uh, targets on uh, their full full health. Let's uh, just do some stabbing. Everyone's going to be real sad next turn. Um, going to have to... Oh, God, people are really hurting now. 
Uh, that's good, because I can save his life and maybe theirs. I think the heal is probably worthwhile. Oh, shield is good. Do we want the magic? Get me a stab. Nice, I love it. Go like that, giving myself a whole load of extra life. It, I don't need it now, because um, we are absolutely fine. And then, sadly I can't get the big overkill bonus. Um, but, I can just stab that guy, saving my life. Uh, let's do a heal on them, and shield the, the, the healer. And we can save the mana. Just because we might want to do something a bit, bit goofier next turn. Ow, a double poison is actually kind of savage. Uh, oh, just boom, sinew. Man, it's a killing blow. Like, it doesn't matter if he's tired. Uh, just does great. Okay, Priestess. Just all the healing. All the Evoker. Uh, four damage to the topmost enemy. Pretty good. Pretty cheap. Buffs their magic and gives them one more. Yeah, I'm kind of into it. Um, because then we can give them the bow, which covers up their two blank sides. Okay, uh, Agnes, Gaither, and Magrat, which is a Discworld reference. Uh, last time I played this, I did not pick up on that. Even though I've read, I've read a lot of Discworld. Uh, I can save my own life. I don't know if that actually gives me heals. Is it worth taking the sword now? Uh, the heal's bad. Oh, okay, I did save my own life. Uh, right, just stack shields on them. Oh, we're kind of not on a great point break here. Um... Because when... Oh, okay, right. These guys actually work completely differently. They used to become invincible. But now, they don't. Uh, and we can actually just burst you. Blam. Stop you summoning a wolf, which I just don't want to have to deal with at all. Oh, yeah, the juggler took some damage. Nice. Okay, healer. You did a thing. Bonk. I'd like a shield. The cleave shield would have been great. Okay, maybe this is not the dream. So I can definitely save people's lives. You know, we're not doing the most damage. But... Here, yeah, drop a burst on both of them. Ow, that big broom. Please, not like this. Uh, okay. Big sword. Why not? Um, you're gonna be in trouble if you don't do that. And, wow, a lot of blanks today. Okay, so when you die, you deal two damage to the middle enemy, which is absolutely fine. Oh, wait, that's bad. Maybe we chop and burst them. And then the burst. And then we shield for two. Okay. It's getting a little bit spicy. Uh, we can probably get six damage out of here. Maybe. God, when your boy is on holiday, um, that is not helping much at all. Uh, well, oh wait, actually what we can do is heal you up to full and then just throw all the shields down. Uh, you'll take a bit of damage. Uh, okay, right, we're fine. Just, that was a little bit more of a complicated fight. I was taking a few um, extra extra dinks of damage. And I'll take that. Can the juggler get you? Come on, juggles. Yeah, good job. Okay, what do we want? Magic staff. So all mana and mana gain sides to two. Mm, not bad. Like, that on the healer kind of buffs up my uh, mana output. If you have zero mana at the end of the turn. Uh, I want some damage. So we're going to go random. Oh, okay. Kind of not what I want. Can't be re-rolled, but we get an extra re-roll. It works well with the juggler. So it's the kind of thing that, you know, we could just like put it on the evoker. Just make them a bit of a lucky dip. Sure. Let's see how this goes. Okay, bad. Um, wow, they are really just focusing down a couple of characters. Okay, so the imps, uh, they're spiky. So I take uh, damage when I hit them. Not great for the juggle. Um, and the evoker just instantly rolled terribly. Um, I'll take the big sword, because then we can actually just kill someone off immediately. Okay, who is causing me the most problems? Um, that is a big shield. We can just kill one of you. So when the bones die, they will... Pow, deal damage to their friends either side of them. Shank you and pop you, because then uh, we're just getting a bit of extra damage in. Like, it feels like kind of like cleaning up whole targets. Ooh, sniper's actually kind of bad news there. Here, take those. Uh, I want to re-roll just in case we need that shield. Great. Um, okay, I don't need the mana. Okay, we shoot them, and then the juggler stabs the bones, which makes them burst and kill the sniper. Add self-heal. 
to allied sides this turn. Deplete. Cost one mana each time it's cast. Oh, okay, so it's like a new spell. Ah, oh, that's a good way to get some healing. Weaken is kind of kind of red, actually. But maybe we just want more damage. Sometimes just like actually being able to kill faster is better. Um, I'm gonna do that. Okay, Spiker is bad news for my juggler. Uh, oh, a straight, nice. I'll take the shield. I don't need the heals. Um, I will roll this again. I don't need the heals. Sword and stab. Yeah, why not? Uh, what is infuse? Heal two to all allies. Four damage to top most enemy. Great. Uh, okay, so zombies. Uh, they are weak to pits or four damage or more. So old city, you can just go in and just bonk, instantly blast him. Uh, we'll do the evoke and just bonk, drop an anvil. Who needs the healing the most? Bottom half. Sure. Um, and then do a little stab and have a good time. Oh, I kind of did that in the rev a bad way round. I should have stabbed first because I would have taken two damage but healed two with the vampire and then I should have put the shields up. That would have made more sense. Are we going to kill this turn? Two, four. Okay, if the juggler actually just gets like two more damage in, I am fine. Okay, we can do it. Ooh, but I will die. Actually, wait, will we? Shoot, burst, and then I shield my juggler and stab. Love it. Sack of mana. Oh, that actually works well with the evoker. Or simplicity. Man, just adding plus to all your basic sides. That's probably better because I still get a four. That becomes a three and that becomes a two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. Okay, the fanatic. Oh, God, two fanatics. Oh, they're terrifying. Uh... But they have pain, so they take the damage that they deal, but god, look how much damage they put out. With both of those, I can keep everyone alive. So that's actually kind of kind of legit. Right, do the shields. Do the shields. Oof. Um, I really want some of these guys dead. I feel like we just kind of throw everything into them. And so I just need one damage to land on them next turn. Hopefully the juggler can just throw a knife. Because they put out quite a lot of hits. Nice! Good job, Juggler. That is exactly what I was after. Um, I'll take a big sinew attack. Uh, vampire, probably good. Yeah, let's just keep rolling. Uh, hope for a big mana. Love that. And... Stabbo. Bonk. Do a stab. Nice. Okay, and then hopefully... Oh, the Slamets are trying to flee! Uh, enemies will try to flee if they think this flight is hopeless. There's no gameplay benefit either way. Uh, yeah, they, they can go. Like, that. maybe they'll grow up and, you know, start to behave. Um, the Poet. Oh, I've never seen them before. Cantrip shields. Shield two to all allies. Target hero can use their dice again. Wow. That with the sinews, um, flail. Oh, let's see the Poet. Like, I've just never seen them before. Okay, we're up against the Rotten, who is a infamously horrible, horrible boy. As every turn, he's going to lower my max HP. Oh, I might actually take that flail this time. Um, which is bad. Like, so this this whole fight is a just a ticking time bomb. Okay, we didn't get any mana, so that thing doesn't actually really help us. Wow, we're actually in a horrible position. Okay, right, well, let's just flail in the middle and just stop plinking some damage. Uh, I will shoot you. Oh, maybe we should actually be trying to save the poet a little bit. Oh, but the poet's going to self-heal. Chomp, ow, ow. Everyone's health going down. What's he going to do? Summon an imp. Oh, and we've got to save my sinew boy. Uh, that is fine. Oh, actually, the vampire has an ability, uh, which is... Oh, we gain one life, and it heals one to everyone else. Oh, that used to be just like it would uh, increase everyone's life by one. Uh, let's keep rolling. Nice. What happened there? Oh, they gave the shield, and they gained a, a life, which is super cool. Right. Sure. Give everyone some shields. Um, heal everyone one. Plink you. And stab you. Do I want to put this down and miss damage next turn? Oh yeah, why not? Uh, he's got an imp. Uh, okay, the imp is kind of a problem. Oh god, they're really just gunning for that sinew, huh? Well, if he dies this turn, 
Oh, does he actually have... Oh, he's got the bone. No penalty when defeated. Oh, fine. Like, I might even just let you, uh, let you tank those hits. Oh, nice. Okay, great. That shield gets bigger because of this. Love it. When that base drops... Bomb. Sadly, it's not a kill. But we are not a million miles away. Oh, we don't even need that shield. Okay, Rodden. Probably not the end of the world for me. He's going to summon another imp. Don't stab the imp. I said don't stab the imp. Okay, fine. <laughs> stab the imp. See if I care. Uh, look, the vampire will come in and just deal with deal with the problems. Wow, make something a cantrip. Add focus to all heal self-heal sides. Focus. Times two versus the target of the previously used dice this turn. Interesting. Like, cantrips are some of my favorite, favorite things in this game. Uh... So it doesn't benefit us now, but as time goes by, we should hopefully get something that comes together. Okay, they are bonking everyone. Right, what do you do? You do bats. Uh, you make someone very sad, and you summon imps. I don't really want any of those things to happen to me. Oh, nice. Okay, actually, maybe this is not terrible. Uh, okay, right, we flail the demon. Boom, take that. And then this lets someone use their dice again. Oh, but it doesn't... It doesn't activate the chain. Oh, okay, that's sad. That is absolutely worthless. Um, I just want to try and kill this demon. What do you do? Oh, you take six damage. But if I burst that down, who takes the damage? No one, because it wasn't the target. Oh, love that. And I will just get some more mana for next turn. I can't kill him. Oof, troll stamp. Uh, that is actually perfect. Imp, bad. Everyone can have some shields. That stops the troll kicking kicking you too much. Uh, everyone heal one, but you get a little bit sadder. Burst the demon. Do you want to kill off the imp? It's probably worthwhile. Uh, do a stab, and... I'm going to save the mana. Like, I tend to always like keep hold of the mana if, if I'm not going to kill... Like, just in case he does something goofy and I need to, need to like, rework it next turn. Do a drop. Oh, we're not going to kill. Fine, do another drop. Okay, well, oh, the troll's trying to flee. No. No, I'm not going to let you flee this time. Uh, just because I feel like that juggler is probably going to get the kill. We'll just take that, just in case you don't. Come on, juggles. You failed me. Uh, Troll Slayer! Heal and Cleanse is pretty good. Heal and Cleave. Wow, the Witch actually may be pretty good. It does cut down on our damage a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take the Witch. Why not? Oh god, this is actually a lot of high damage foes. Wow, we can just get four mana twice if we wanted to. But I think I need the shields. Although, actually I can block, block on both of those. I need to get rid of that poison. Two poison damage is pretty savage. Uh, we've got so much mana. Mana Storm! Okay, I might just bonk you and then just burst twice. That feels probably smart. I could burst and save both of them. I think I have to save you. And we'll just bonk. Give him the drop. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, right. I absolutely goofed that up. Not good. How did I miss that? Wow, what an idiot. Okay, who do I need to kill? Like, instantly I can save the juggler. And then I need to block. I need to get three instances of damage. One. Blam. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay, right, we got a, we got a little misplay. Uh, sniper's trying to flee. Yeah, they can get out of here. Uh, poet, god, I'm so sorry. Uh, invest. What is this? Plus six mana, but it costs four. Effect is delayed until the start of next turn. Wow. Place the middle side with shield zero flesh. Bonus is equal to your current HP. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So I might just go random. Bonk. Okay. Vulnerable. Oh, they take ex two, extra, two extra damage from spells? Okay. Okay, who are we putting that on? Sure, the witch. Okay, this looks like an absolutely terrifying squad. Let's see, Nulls. God, Nulls are so much damage. I need some, like, big multi-way hits coming in here. I need that flail. Because those war chiefs are buffing them by one as well. They only have three life. 
They reduce damage taken. Oh god, I need the um the juggler to do something, but the juggler has not been pulling their weight. Oh, and one damage doesn't even do. Okay, I can save one of them. Oh wait, no, I can save both of them. Oh yeah, well actually no, we're fine. <laughs> it's fine, what are you even talking about? Let's just chill this turn. Unfortunately, we bust out the sinew ability, so it means that my damage output is significantly less next turn. And... Okay, you have just done terribly for me, my friend. Uh, look at that savior! Look how much life he got back from that as well! So strong. Uh, give me all that good mana. Bonk. 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 <laughs> just dropping anvils all over the place. Uh, sure. Stab the war chief. Okay, all of that extra mana was, was great. Maybe we should have taken those mana upgrades. Uh, I'm gonna just keep rolling. See if we can get some damage out of here. Uh, I don't mind if I get exerted this turn. Um, or not. Uh, bonk, just kill them. Give them a stab. And we're not taking any damage, so it doesn't really matter about what I do. Let them escape? Sure, why not? Uh, the Barbarian. Pain. Oh god, Pain is kind of savage. 10 damage, but I die. But actually, we've got that bone ability. Bloodlust. Bonus damage to the equal amount of enemies. So it's not great versus the slate. I'm going to take the Barbarian. Um, just because I like our current wizard. And we do have this ability that means we can let them die every turn. And uh, they can come back. Also, we can put Cantrip on this. Which could just be chaos. Actually, it's pro oh, I probably shouldn't have done this in this fight. Because if he hits the slate, I don't actually get anything out of it. Does 10 damage and I die? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna say no for now. But thank you. Thank you for the offer. Oh shit. See, look, he did a bonk. Wait. Oh no, that was uh, the other person did the um the stab, the juggler. <laughs> okay, right. The barbarian did <laughs> did kind of uh, mangle himself a little bit. Um I got that, which is exactly what I was after. Oh, uh, we can now heal you up. Stab him. Troll King. Troll King heals two. And yeah, give him a shank. I need to do some big damage. Oh god, there's a lot of poison. Okay, Barbarian isn't gonna die yet. I think I want this. I feel like I need to try and win this turn. Okay, I can heal them. We didn't kill the slate. I don't really want to kill the Barbarian. So I think I can undo. Uh, oops. Okay, yeah. I was just wondering if I could uh, make him do that twice this turn. I just need the juggler to plink the slate a couple of times. I have to win this turn, though, because we are definitely going to have people dying. Nice. That's a good hit. Uh, those are good amounts of mana to do two drops. That kills him. That kills that guy. I think we're good. Uh, we'll just do a roll, just in case. Sure. <laughs> Most people are still dead. Fine, kill the slate. Uh, give me all that good mana. Uh, you do the big stab, and I maths it out perfectly, and the barbarian is used to death, so he comes back. He's amazing. Uh, mirror mask. Replace all sides with the hero above base sides. I only random tier eight. Oh, triple pips on the rightmost side. We can remove the cantrip, but we can just make that thing just ridiculous. It just kills him. Oh, although triple on that shield is pretty good. God, I just need any other item. Like combining the uh, the triple pips and the cantrip. Oh, but then we won't be able to get the item there. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. But I think the uh, that triple shields may be good. Okay, everyone's taking a bit of damage. If I can get the music note, I would love that. Oh god, the juggler is actually going to be awful in this fight because of the basilisk. I need to kill them off fast. <laughs> okay, they're just having the worst day. Uh, actually, all the mana is pretty, pretty savage. Oh, we don't kill him. Which is bad. Although we can kill him. Bonk. It's a bit of a waste. But I just want, I just want some of them dead. And I am fine just to bonk you with a big old hit. Oof. Okay, I do need the poet to do some work here. I die, but I kill. I love it. I'll take all of those. Uh, that is not a kill. That is a kill. Great. Bonk. 
take some shields. Uh, actually, I didn't need those shields, really. Um, you can do the stab, and you can drop an anvil. Yeah, okay, man, that barbarian is working out real nice. A ghast. Oh, hey. Uh, two damage, weak and single use. Kind of love that. Gain five mana, but you die. Hate that. <laughs> the instant kill is pretty savage. I'm going to do it. Sharpshooter, you're in the team. Spike a punch, punch hard. Nice, I will just take that immediately. Um, just get rid of Wiz. <laughs> Great. Uh, everyone have a shield. Um, Blamo, get out of here. Just straight in, the, straight in the head. Let's just do that spell. Drop anvils on the spiker because it means I'm not taking damage. And this has gone fairly, fairly smoothly. Uh, oh god, I forgot about the cantrip. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, sure. Yeah, god, actually, this guy. I'm all about that barbarian. Great, let's just do a heal there. Oh, we <laughs> was still dead. I was gonna hopefully reuse his uh, ability. Helm of Power. Double the pips on the left-hand side. Oh, that's cantrip to the two left side. Oh, the two right sides. Okay, we could just make the barbarian hit for hit for 20 damage and kill himself, which is kind of jokes. The double canter is great, but I just would want it on anyone apart from the barbarian. Uh, but I am going to take that. Um, I'm going to going to lose that canter because it is not working out. I'm sorry, bird. But 20 damage, but I die seems super cool. Dies if damaged five times in a turn. Ah oh, man, Juggler. Juggler would have done pretty good here. But alas, it is not to be. 20 damage, just kill a just kill a Hydra. Bonk, just Barbarian goes in and saves the day. It does mean that we actually have to fight another Hydra like a man down, which maybe isn't the best the best call. God, actually we could die here because I got greedy. Oh wow, we buffed that thing up pretty nicely. Okay. We've done one instance. Oh, we can get four. Or we just <laughs> just drop anvils. Uh, right. Who do you want? Oh, man. I wish we had... If we had kept that juggler. These guys are all good with the cantrips. Uh, sorcerer. It's a good way to generate mana. Or Kronos. We slow them. I think... God, I kind of think I might just decline. I think I'm going to get more mana out of the Evoker. So it's one of the things that I love that they added, is that you can uh, skip an upgrade, which is so good. Because sometimes you have a build, and they'd want you to uh, upgrade, and it just just ruins it. Um, okay, right. You are not happy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably the best we're going to get out of you. I'd like big mana. Big mana in the house. That was not big mana in the house. Oh, the Evoker's dead. No, we can save them. Uh, wait. What's that? Why did you take mana burn? Uh-oh. What are your powers? Nervous mana spent. That much damage is dealt to the bottom hero. Bad. Bad wizard times. Okay, I've never seen this person before. That is bad for business. I wonder, can we just rush uh, killing Hexia? So I can do 10 damage this turn, just hope the Barbarian does more damage the following turn. Oh, shoot. What do you have? The attacker takes equal damage to me. God, Hexia is a nightmare. Um, I think we are in trouble. Okay, I guess we just ignore those imps and just start blasting other people. Uh, I guess Sharpshooter. Oh, okay, right. They don't care. Uh, they don't take the ranged. I just need the Barbarian to drop that 20 damage hit. Oof. And the bones, they'll kind of help. Uh, okay, you're doing a summon. Which is probably not good, because it's a demon, and demons are actually kind of savage. None of us are dying this turn. Very nice. Just 20 damage? I don't know if I'll... Wait, we're not going to kill them. They'll be left on 7 life. Oh no, I think this might be all going wrong now. Oh, Barbarian just got swinging. That is not what I need. Uh... Oh no, and so if I use this, like bonk, now just this bow would uh, I'd just die if I use that. 
Um, not great. And this dupe power doesn't really work either. Okay. Like, heal. <laughs> we take a burn. Uh, this is this is just going awfully fine. Plink another damage. Barbarian, I think you just gotta try and live another turn. Oh god, but their team is getting big. Ah, oh, luckily it's just a reinforcement, so... If we can kill Hexia, then we just leave this as just like a regular kind of encounter. Everyone is gonna die this turn. I will take that. Okay, just give me damage. Three damage there. The witch has to die. But we plink. Do some damage, but <laughs> Blam. Mana burn. Oh, okay, but I have the shields. Um uh, go get him, Barbarian. Bonk! <laughs> and then... Poet, Sharpshooter combo? Or the Witch. The Witch is maybe better because they can heal... Oh, but this is only a shield, and they, they have poison, so we won't be able to keep them alive. Uh, we've only got a couple of turns before we are definitely dead. Um, I just don't have the damage output by any means to do this. I think just that demon is going to be the nightmare. Oh, God. Um, okay, I need to roll that cantrip triple shields a lot. Oh, we got it once. Uh, let's <laughs> shoot the bones. I can't save you. I'm so sorry. It's just the poet. Uh, the poet who I love, but um, yeah, we kind of goofed. Okay, 11 damage. If I roll, not that, the triple shields three times and then used it. <laughs> okay, one shield. Oh my god. Uh, blam! Defeat! Uh, pow! Uh, well, this has been Slice and Dice! Uh, man, I'm sure we'll come back and play some more of this at some point. Um, I absolutely adore this game. It's really cool. Um, I've not replayed really the new expansion at all. Um, and so, I've heard there's, like, double the amount of characters in it. Double the amount of items. Maybe I'm just making that up. But there's loads, loads more stuff. So if you, uh, gave this go before, make sure you update your game. Um, you know, it's on, like, mobile or... Uh, you buy it on itch, itch.io, and it's only like a couple of bucks. Um, and I've I've had a lot of fun with it. Highly recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, everybody. See ya.